Hello friends, welcome to Drive Through Tarot. So today, you'll see this later, but it is the day before Thanksgiving. I have an hour and 15 minutes, no, an hour and 45 minutes before I have to be at work. Work is just upstairs, <laughs> right up there. Um, so I have plenty of time, but I really don't know what to expect through the drive through line. So we'll see. Today we're going to explore the spacious tarot. Um, as always, the length of the line will depend on how in-depth we get. This is also still a deck that I'm learning. It is a solid reader. Um, it's a really great reader, but I'm still learning it. So there may very well be some guidebook consultation as I make sure that I do have the guidebook with me. So, my friends, let's go get some coffee. All right, so friends, we've got a decent line today. One, two, three, four, five people between me and the ordering kiosk, so maybe not as long as last time. But I think the invitation um, that I want to, want us to think about today um, within this reading, the framework that I'm going to offer, I keep dropping cards, um, is how to experience, how to think about this holiday season as its own entity. Um, how to keep our present needs, our present um, desires, plans, boundaries in place as there's this bizarre little expectation to go back to normal when things aren't normal and weirdness and just how, how to navigate all of that. Just ways we can shift our thinking to bring some clarity or questions to how we navigate our holiday season this year. I can't not separate into three, so I'm using the seat to do that. One, two, three, and up. All right, so the first card we have, my friends, <laughs> of course, the first card we have is the tower. The tower, the way I see it, is it simply forces things that needed to happen to happen quicker. So the tower doesn't bring big, potentially traumatic, life-shifting events into our lives unwelcomed. The timing just isn't welcome. I think about the, the tower moments in my life, the times that I was laid off, um... <laughs> um, those were things that I wasn't happy, right? Those things needed to happen, but I was kind of dragging my feet on it. So I see the tower as, as it applies to our holidays, whether that's how we approach our family, how we approach our finances, um, how we approach our travel plans. Everything has been rocked and shook but how can we use this opportunity to make changes that we needed to make and wanted to make in the first place? How do we see this tower moment? And, and I, you know, the way that I'm reading this for myself personally is the tower being the pandemic in general and what this, what the pandemic and politics have made me aware of in the world and how to, um, how to face that and how to continue to interact in the world in a way that feels true to who I am. It just brought light to all of that. Like their people's ideas haven't changed. They're just more vocal about it now, right? And that's kind of how I see the tower, this forced acknowledgement of, uh, acknowledgement right now of things that we've known but been reluctant to acknowledge. So I see the tower, um, I see this as this invitation to realize that all of the ways that we have been shook are pointing out things that were always there, we just weren't seeing them. 
that needed to be addressed, but it's on the universe's timing instead of our own. So the next card here is the Two of Wands. And I'm gonna check the guidebook for this one. Um, Cause like the lower numbers are the minor arcana sometimes, especially when it's a pippish card, it takes me a second. So we're just, for the sake of time, we're just gonna check out the guidebook. <laughs> All right, so the Two of Wands is our invitation to be absolutely fully ourselves. To use this, <laughs> to use this tower moment to step fully into who we are, what we, what we want, our voice, um, all of the things about us. Using the, the experience that we're forced into to then move forward as most fully ourselves. So I see this as an opportunity to create this sort of synergy, the way I'm reading the two wands here, is to create, to create this synergy between um, our thoughts and our actions, to set the boundaries now that are going to, um, that set the stage for the rest of our lives. Whether that is more, um, you know, staying home for the holiday instead of travel because travel is really, really, um, really stressful. Or um, saying, I'm, I'm not going to bring this dish that is so complicated that everybody wants every year. Or um, I'm not going to do gifts this year, right? Whatever it is, whatever the things are, that car was going way too fast. Whatever those things are that you're ready to put your foot down on, um, the Two of Wands gives you that spark to do so. Now, the Two of Wands is also really interesting because the Tower is a major, and the major cards are a major deal, <laughs> where the minor cards are, are just a little more of a tweak. So, um, I, I see these two cards together as the moment being really big, but not necessarily the the little tweaks that you're being invited to make. Um, this may not be, this doesn't feel like major confrontations, right? This feels just like the, um, I'm not going to spend two nights, I'm only going to spend one sort of energy. I'm going to mute my, mute really quick while I roll my window down because it squeaks. I am so glad you don't have to hear that. So the tower is the state of the world right now. Oh, and it's my turn to order. Hold on. Thanks for choosing Starbucks. I'm gonna get started for you today. Good morning. Can I get a venti black coffee, a venti iced latte, a um, bacon gouda sandwich, and do you have a cranberry bliss bar? Thank you. Ooh, it looks like we're actually out of our bliss bars today. Okay, that's fine, then that's it. Alrighty, that will be 1341. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so using this big moment to make little tweaks. So, what do we need to know as we actually move through this process? I want to roll up my window, it's cold. <sighs> so what we need to keep in mind during this process is the five of wands. So it's not going to be easy. This isn't going to be one of those things where we just say, hey mom, X, Y, Z, and mom says, okay, great, yay. <laughs> no, this is going to require standing your ground. However, where I see the Five of Swords as like an actual fight, I see the Five of Wands as more of um, discomfort, more of um, drama, more of just challenging communication in general, 
not like the world is falling and this is going to cause these major family rifts, but instead a, oh, this is going to be an awkward phone call and I may not be understood or taken seriously the first time. Um, it's not going to be easy, but it's not going to be like pulling teeth either. Um, it's not a cupcake. It's not dental work. It's somewhere in the middle. So let's look at a final card to close us up as I'm getting close to the end. And here, my friends, we have the Four of Cups. Sorry about that. I just realized I still had money on my Starbucks card from my birthday present from Amy. So, um, so I had to use my phone for the app. So that's where we are. Anyway, so um, the guidance on how to do this, we have the Four of Cups. The Four of Cups is our tendency to like withdraw. So it's between the Three of Cups of so like there's this major celebration and then moving to the Five of Cups where you realize that maybe you don't have what you thought you had. And the Four of Cups is that space in the middle where you're, um, where you feel really isolated, where you're looking at, oh, is this really what I want? Is this what I want to do? Are these my relationships? It, it's the, it's the hermit, but in a uncomfortable, emotional place. So, um, hmm. So we have the big moment that makes us question things. We have the opportunity for this to be a time to assert your boundaries and your needs. It's not gonna be easy. You may withdraw. But this is the first step, the Ace of Pentacles. This is the first step to feeling really grounded, really rooted, crafting the big picture happiness, contentment, stability on your terms. This is not, this is not a warning. This is, this is, this is the light bulb. This is planting the seed. This is the first step toward recreating this, your new normal, your new holiday process, your, the new way, the aligned way that you want to show up in your family, in consumerism, in capitalism, in all of that around the holidays. This is your opportunity to plant the seed, to do it a new way. So my friends, that is today's drive through tarot. I've got my venti ice latte. Thank you, Amy. And now um, I'm gonna put these cards back where they belong and I'm gonna drive home and get my work day started.